Okay, since uh, we didn't get to do this in class, you have the quiz tomorrow. Uh, this is not one of the homework problems. This is just a practice problem. So give it a shot yourself, uh, and you can see how you can do on it. Uh, it's a conservation of angular momentum problem. Uh, we'll talk about why that's true in a second. And um, if you want to, you can just follow through with this one, either before or after you do it on your own. It doesn't matter to me. But I wanted to have it so you could be prepared. The other two, remember, are homework. I'll be uh, grading one of those. All right, so what we have in this situation is a system of two disks that are rotating on this axis right here. All right, so those two disks, actually the first one is not rotating at all. This one, you can see, is at rest. All right, this mass two, or disk two, is at rest, while disk one down here is rotating with an angular velocity omega initial, and you see that it has a angular velocity vector pointing upward of a certain magnitude, okay? And then the trick is that this one that was initially not rotating, disk two, falls down onto disk one, and through friction, which is internal to the system, that's important to understand, it's internal to the system, through friction, this one speeds up, that is, this two speeds up, while this one slows down, right? Until they're eventually moving at the same speed, which will be a, uh, an angular velocity that is less, right here, than the initial angular velocity of disk one when it was rotating by itself. All right, so here's what I just said, but it's in mathy terms, okay? Since the net external torque is equal to zero, that is, the, the forces are internal to the system, that the change in the angular momentum of the system will be zero. Another way of saying that is that angular momentum is conserved. All right, so sliding down to do a little bit of the mathy stuff, we know that L prime is equal to L. That just means that the final angular momentum is equal to the initial angular momentum. All right, so now let's just put together some expressions. We know in general that L is equal to I omega, right? So here is L for the, uh, here's L for disk one when it's rotating all by itself, okay? L for this one when it's rotating all by itself is just the momentum, the angular momentum that the bottom disk, disk one has because the angular momentum of the second disk is obviously zero because it's not rotating. All right, so that means that afterward, the angular momentum, which is gonna be the same as the initial angular momentum, and this I omega is just the I of the two disk system, which is the sum of their moments of inertia, times the angular velocity of the two as they rotate together. And so magically these appear. Uh, here's a, this is what we're talking about here. This is the two disk system right here rotating together with their shared moment of inertia right here, okay? And their shared angular velocity. Here's the, I've ignored the other, I didn't put the other one in there because it has no uh, angular velocity and therefore no angular momentum. And so here's this one is this one right here, all right? So now, coming down, we know that omega final is, this is where we already, oh, sorry, pausing. All right, so this new expression right here, I got interrupted, sorry, is just an algebraic simplification of all this stuff up here together, all right? Um, and I'll erase a bunch of this junk so you can see it more clearly and all we have here really is that we've divided through by this term right here. And so the angular velocity of the two disk system together over here, and I'll make that uh, hypothetical, of this two disk system over here, which I have in, everything in red, is equal to the angular momentum of the initial system divided by the mass of them together because they share it, okay? So, this is the final answer for part A. It says calculate, as I said, which is, I know, is a little bit weird because you're not calculating anything. 
you're just uh, coming up with an algebraic expression. I'll do a separate video for part B.